to really protect them and give them an opportunity to, to do what their body will do naturally. The turtles will then be released back into the water. For now, they already have rescued some, but staff is preparing for more. As for how many? The cool thing about turtles is that you never know exactly what's going to happen. Uh, we can predict with the weather and the wind and all of that kind of thing um, that we will definitely have some more. We think maybe tomorrow there will be um, even more than today, definitely. Um, we got some um, maps and some models in from NOAA and from our um, organization as well. Um, and those things are telling us that this will be more similar to some cold stunning that we had in the beginning of 2022. Um, so that's like a roughly around 100 patients. Well, if you happen to see a sea turtle that's cold stunned like that, you can contact the Sea Turtle Inc. team. You can also make a donation to their nonprofit organization by visiting their Facebook page. And some school districts are delaying start times again today because of the cold weather. La Jolla ISD, Harlingen CISD, Sherryland, Vanguard, and Brownsville ISD are some of those districts. But we do have a full list of those delays over on valleycentral.com. And if you need a warm place to go, we have a list of warming shelters on valleycentral.com as well. The story should be on the front page. If not, just go to the search bar and type warming centers open for residents seeking shelter. Our team has shelters listed by city and some of them are expected to be open until tonight. An early voting starts today for the South Padre Island special election, which is happening next month. The voters are going to elect a council member for place five. The candidates for place five include Lisa Graves, Tally Ragsdale, Brad Robinson and Jennifer Stout. The election comes after the death of Councilwoman Eva Jean Dalton. An early voting ends on the 30th. Election day is Friday, uh, February the 3rd rather. Well, with less than a week to go, the top three GOP presidential candidates have shifted their focus to New Hampshire. The state's primary is next Tuesday. Bree Jackson has the latest on the last minute push by candidates to rally support. It is like a Great. truly a winter wonderland out there. The battle for the Republican presidential nomination moving to New Hampshire. Former President Trump touting his massive Iowa caucus win to supporters in the Granite State. The largest margin of victory in GOP history. Is that good? Is that good? Trump returned to the campaign trail Tuesday night after spending the morning inside a New York courtroom. His civil damages trial is underway. The former president also faces 91 felony charges from other cases. I got so many court cases. I've been indicted more than Alphonse Capone. You know who Alphonse is? <laughs> Greatest gangster of all time. Donald Trump. Meanwhile, his Republican rivals are making the case that they should be the party's nominee. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis placed a distant second in Iowa, edging out UN Ambassador Nikki Haley. She does not have the ability to build the type of coalition that you need to win a Republican primary period much less take on Donald Trump. Polls show Haley within striking distance of Trump in New Hampshire. She's looking to build momentum. We needed to be strong in Iowa. We need to get stronger in New Hampshire. We need to be even stronger than that in South Carolina. This is just about continuing to build. New Hampshire voters say Trump's dominant win in Iowa won't impact their primary vote. No. No. We're independent here in New Hampshire. Haven't you heard that? I'm independent, so I'm going to vote who I want to vote for. Republican presidential hopefuls all vying for a chance to face off against President Biden in November. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News. The former president's victory in the Iowa caucus smashed the record for a Republican presidential candidate, and Trump received 51% of the votes, which is 30 points higher than candidate Ron DeSantis, who came in second place. The previous record was set by late Senator Bob Dole, who beat Pat Robertson by 13 points in the 1988 caucuses. The New Hampshire primary debate scheduled for tomorrow has been canceled because two of the three qualifying candidates declined to participate. Candidate Nikki Haley said she would only participate if former President Donald Trump would be there, meaning Ron, De Ron DeSantis is now the only candidate that is committed. So the host network canceled the event and the next Republican presidential primary debate is currently set for Sunday, just two days before the New Hampshire GOP primary next Tuesday. Well, you guys, we still have to get through this cold morning. I want to remind everyone to still dress warmly as you're heading out the door to school 
or to work. But look at our temperatures this afternoon. We're going to be in the mid 50s. Now I know for some of you guys you're saying that is still cold. You're not necessarily wrong. But remember mid 50s is a lot more manageable than upper 20s. I mean we're not going to be throwing out all these four P's remi reminders and talking about how you need to stay super warm. It's just going to be so much more manageable and so much more pleasant once we can get to around 11 to 11 a.m. to noon 